Hi, I'm Jeff Chambers, founder of Guardian Athletics and inventor of the Cato Collar. Cato Collar is a safety device which slows down the head after impact in the sport of football, protecting against the mechanisms and forces which cause concussions and neck injuries. We are the first safety device to address the forces that act on the brain with movement of the head after impact. We have taken great pride in the design of Cato Collar to not restrict motion to allow for optimal performance. This video is to show you how to properly install Cato Collar to allow for maximum protection and mobility and therefore optimal player performance. Let's start with the parts of Cato Collar. The shell made out of HDPE, high density polyethylene, is the base of the collar. The base of the collar is there to support the head and the neck as it moves toward it and makes contact. It also houses the receptacles in which the decelerator pads are placed. The phalange is made out of foam covered in nylon and has Velcro to attach to the shoulder pads. The flange is simply to secure Cato collar to the shoulder pad. The decelerator pad, which is our patented technology, attach to the base of the collar via a high grade Velcro. You simply put it into the receptacle and press it down and it will stay in place. The decelerator pads receive the head helmet with its movement after the impact or upon whiplash, therefore reducing the forces that act on the brain. You now know the parts of Cato Collar. Let's go to the installation. The first thing you need to remember when installing Cato Collar is you can never get it too far back in the shoulder pads. That is key to attain optimal range of motion for the head and helmet and performance. And that is key to remember. You want it back as far as it will possibly go into the shoulder pads. So let's start. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your shoulder pads upside down, okay? Your collar then is gonna go in upside down and you wanna match the posterior backside of the shoulder pads with the backside of the collar. So I'm gonna pick these shoulder pads up, put it right here in my lap, because you can do this right in the locker room. You're gonna slide one side of the collar into the shoulder pads and you wanna to try to make sure that that is back as far as it will go, okay? So I've got the one side in, okay? Now I'm gonna turn it over. You wanna make sure when you turn it over that the padding and the shell of the shoulder pad are in that groove, okay? I'm gonna adjust the shoulder pad where I can grab the other side of Cato collar. Do not be afraid to bend this collar it will go, it will move and not break. So I'm just gonna squeeze it very tight, bring it in through here very tight, and I'm gonna pull it back as far as I can on this side into the collar. And I'm gonna strap that down. Now, that's not bad placement for the collar, but I want you to understand, once you get it in, you can still get it back a little bit farther. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You just simply turn the collar over, okay? I've got it in here. I'm gonna take the collar, I'm gonna unstrap both sides. But, as I unstrap the side, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move this part of the collar just posteriorly. Notice how I got a little more movement posteriorly. Then, on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna grab the shoulder pad and I'm gonna do the same thing and strap it down on this side. Now, we just gained a little bit of movement there, a little more room for the head helmet to move. When you turn around and look at it, you can see the Cato collar is in the center between the shoulder pads, and you will notice from the side, this back part of the collar protrudes out past the shell of the shoulder pads. That is key, if that part is too far forward and it's not protruding past the shell of the shoulder pads, it is in there incorrectly and it is too far forward. It's not back far enough. This collar right here is too far forward. When you look at it from the side, you can see 
that the shell of the shoulder pads extend out past the collar. The collar does not protrude out past them. It's not in there correct and it will not allow for full motion. Therefore, it's key that you get it back as far as possible. Another thing that you want to watch for with the shoulder pads is that it's in crooked. You can see from the top view of this that this is turned at an angle. One way to check for that is looking at the top. You can even check the bottom and see how it's not in at the right at the right angles, not across from each other. The other way to check real quick is to look at the back side of the collar and you will see the Cato collar is turned to the side. It's not in the center. Hi, Tyler Johnson's here with us today to show us how Cato collar does not inhibit motion, therefore allowing for optimal performance. He's going to go through some different motions in some in a standing position in his linebacker stance and also in a three-point stance to show how you can move your head and neck and be able to perform in Cato Collar. If you play football, you should be wearing Cato Collar as this safety device goes beyond the helmet to provide additional protection against the forces and mechanisms which cause concussion and neck injuries. To learn more information about Cato Collar or to purchase Cato Collar, you can go to our website, guardianathletics.com. Also, if you want to learn more about Cato Collar, or you have questions about Cato Collar or the purchasing of Cato Collar and or installation, feel free to contact me directly at jeff at guardianathletics.com. You can be sure that I will reach out to you. And also check out our page on Facebook and LinkedIn to follow our progress as we are moving into more high school, college, and NFL programs.